Hey everybody, T.O. from Art Geek Teaching. Today we're going to look at how to fold an envelope and we're going to send out some swatches for a collaborative art project to Pam Coey. It's going to be pretty cool. We'll fold um, the envelope from some mono printing paper that we did and um, then we'll put the swatches inside, pack it in the mail. Stay tuned. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is size this paper. This was a mono print that um, I printed on a desk at uh, the school I teach at. And so I just want to get rid of some of the white. And um, I'm, I wanted to give it a kind of a deckled edge look rather than a nice clean edge. And so I'm ripping the paper and no particular size. I just wanted it taller than it was wide. That was the, the biggest thing that I wanted to look at. So again, just tearing the paper. Um, you can use eight and a half by 11, but it gives you about a three and a half by maybe four and a half um, envelope when you're done. So I wanted something a little bit bigger than that. <clears throat> I'm going to start folding it here, except for that I realized I forgot to decal the final edge there. So I'm gonna take just a real quick second and decal that edge by ripping it. And as soon as we get that ripped, then I'll flip it over and start to fold it. So first thing we're gonna do is grab the top right hand corner and keeping the left edges aligned, I'm just going to pull it down until it makes a 45 degree angle right there. Again, keeping the edge, the left edge lined up and then go ahead and crease it I don't have a bone folder um, in the studio that I could find. I don't know what I did with it. I don't use it very often. So I just grabbed a pencil. Pencil works fine. It's not as slick. It doesn't do as good of a job, but it'll still work. All right, the next thing is I'm going to grab from the right hand side and again, fold it over so it is flush with the left hand side. And wherever that folds is where I'm gonna just let it fold. And I'm gonna crease again with the pencil. Next thing we're gonna do is flip this over and I'm going to fold up from the bottom to the top, almost to the top where it starts making 45. About an inch below that mark is where um, it kind of works best. You can see what works best for you, but I kind of like it an inch. It leaves a little bit of a, an interesting um, fold when you're totally done if you do it that way. So again, one inch from where it starts going to the right and then I am just going to fold that over all the way keeping the uh, envelope portion all the way to the top and it will give us a little bit of a tab sticking out I'm going to fold that over and um, if you're not going to use wax you can just fold it there and then fold it one more time and just tuck it in there I like to use wax it gives a little bit more stability so um, we will go ahead and pop, pop some wax on there in a minute and uh, seal it up. All right, so the next thing I wanted to do is be able to put a address on it that could be easily readable, well, outside of my handwriting. Um, and so I just took some white paint and gave it a real quick one pass with the flat brush and um, as soon as that dried, then I came back and I'm going to go ahead and put the information on, send it out the door. So the address and the return address, and again, that's the only reason I put that on there was just to make it a little bit easier for the post office to read. Finally, we're going to open it up and I just took a few seconds here and put together a real quick note to Pam. Um, uh, I really am enjoying the the class that she has right now that she put together um, the PDPC course that is Powerful Design Personal Color course is amazing and that is what initially uh, is how I initially found Pam and and um, all of the courses that she has. Um, Art and Success Pro membership is what this particular assignment and collaboration came from and that has been so far a really fun piece. Alright, so I'm just going to refold this um, after I put my swatches in there and I was supposed to get um, I think four to six swatches and so I just 
gave them a little bit of rubber cement on the back so that they would stick and not float around because if they, if they actually are just floating in there, they probably, I would have to seal the ends. So I folded this over. I got some hot wax that uh, I had over there just cooking and I'm um, grabbing a little bit of it out of a teaspoon or tablespoon rather and um, just pouring it on there, make a little circle. I'm not very level, so it's wanting to run down. And then I just get the wax tool and um, hold it there for just a few seconds until the wax begins to sit and I can pull the tool out of there. I don't even know what that thing is called. I'm sure there's some name for it, but I don't know what it is. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I popped that out of there and um, it is ready to send. So here's a real quick last look at it. Um, that's the front side and then the back side. And again, it makes a really neat looking envelope for anything special that you want to do. And it only takes a few seconds. I mean, this video was five minutes, but um, it really doesn't take that long. Thanks for joining me.